Good morning, here again. So I'm reading today, See What God Sees. And I think that's so important, especially with what's going on at the moment, with the news reports and everything flying around, what people are saying, what we see around us. Um, and just in our personal lives, our own um, journeys and struggles and, and circumstances. So we are going to read, See What God Sees. And it's Romans 12 verse two, and it says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Learning to see what God sees is a powerful key in believing right. It involves replacing your wrong beliefs with right beliefs based on God's word. When Jesus saw the man with the withered hand, he didn't just see the withered hand. He saw that there was more than enough grace for that hand to be made completely whole. Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. The man did as he was told. And his hand was completely restored and made as whole as the other hand. We see that in Mark 3 verse 1 to 5. Now, you don't say stretch out your hand to someone whose hand is obviously shriveled and disabled unless you see it differently. Jesus sees differently from you and me. It's a really interesting point. Jesus sees differently from us. And remember, you have the spirit of Christ inside you. Just a side thought, but it's an interesting thought. So Jesus sees differently from you and me. That's why we need to go back to God's word and learn to see what he sees. When Jesus sees a disease, a lack, or someone trapped in fear, guilt, addiction, and shame, and sin, he doesn't just see the problem. He sees God's healing, grace and power superbounding in that area. You too can change what you believe by seeing beyond what your natural eyes see. It's challenging, isn't it? Press in to see what God sees. In your very area of lack, struggle or challenge, see his superabounding grace all around your current situation. Jesus says to you today, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. We see that in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Give all your weaknesses, failings and mistakes to the Lord Jesus and see him transform your weakness into strength. What you believe is powerful. So are you going by what you see or what God sees? You may not be able to stop negative thoughts from passing through your mind or unhealthy emotions such as fear grippling your heart, but you can definitely anchor your thoughts and emotions on the unshakable word of God. You, certainly, you can certainly ensure that you believe right regarding what God says about you in his word, which contains his precious promises to you. The more you learn and believe right about his love, and what his word says about your situation in your life, the more your thoughts will line up with his thoughts about you. You'll begin to develop thoughts of peace, not of evil, thoughts of hope and a bright future, as in Jeremiah 29, 11. And you will be transformed, like at the beginning. Do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do we renew our minds? seeing what God sees, anchored in the word of God. Everything, everything as Christians must be anchored in the word of God. And remember that Jesus is the word, the word became flesh. So as you read the word more, you're getting to know Jesus more. And Jesus says, he who has seen the, me has seen the Father. So it's beautiful. Actually, the more we read the word of God, the more we get to know Jesus the more we get to understand the Father's, the Father's heart for us. So I encourage you, read, even if you just read a couple of verses a day, a psalm, um, part of the Gospels. Galatians is beautiful, especially in the Passion Translation. Highly recommend that. But read the Word. Understand the Father's heart for you through getting to know Jesus more. Our thought today in my very area of lack, struggle or challenge, God's super abounding grace is all around my current situation. I choose to see and believe that his grace is sufficient for me. And our prayer, 
Lord Jesus, thank you that right in the midst of the lack, struggles and challenges I'm facing, your super abounding grace is all around me, forgiving me, healing me, providing for me and transforming my weaknesses into strengths. Help me to always go to your word to see my situation as you see it and to anchor my thoughts and emotions on your unshakable word. I believe that as I choose to believe what your word says about me and my situations, you are transforming me from the inside out. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I encourage you today, go find a scripture that encourages you in your current situation right now, whatever that might be, whether it's to do with COVID or something personal that's just yours or um, something to do with your family something that maybe has been weighing on you or troubling you, go to God's word now and um, find a scripture that you can anchor yourself on in that for that situation. And I'm going to go and read the kids devotional if you want to join me now. Otherwise, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.